Welcome to the video series, How to Build Your Food Truck. I'm Frank Baltiers, where I started a video series on how to build a food truck from an empty cargo trailer. And a cargo trailer is nothing but a fancy word than a trailer that's just a wooden box with some walls, some a ceiling and a roof that you can convert into pretty much anything that you need. You can use it as a construction trailer. But in this case, we turned it into a full mobile kitchen on wheels, which is what, what I did for my original food truck, which is rolling burritos out in DuPage County, where we serve breakfast burritos. And in today's video, what I want to cover is the commissary. When you're getting more into the ending stages of the build of your food truck, then you have to start looking for a commissary. And uh, that word, when I started my food truck business, I had no idea what it meant. To be honest, I really did not have any idea what it meant. I had to read it off the DuPage County Health Department, the requirements, which almost every health department should have a requirement for their food truck or else you have, you're going to have to call them and ask them if they allow food trucks. And if they do, what requirements does the health department need from you as a food truck to be able to operate in that uh, area? So with that, Let's get started on today's video on what is a commissary, do you need a commissary, and how can you get one for free? Yes, for free, because that is a very, really cool strategy that you can use. So let's get started. So I started my food truck in March 20 of the year 2020, one of the best times to start a business. I guess I take it in that aspect because when everything was happening with the, with the shutdown that did happen in 2020, it, it affected a lot of restaurants, especially the restaurant business, uh, any type of uh, uh, service business that had people inside congregating. Uh, it had a huge impact in 2020, and we had to do like a little shift and a pivot. I started the business not knowing what was going to happen. We started when everything shut, it, shut down in uh, March 20. That was one of the last, I guess, events, right, that you had, that we had. It was at a brewery, our grand opening, and we started there. And from that aspect on, we found that the food truck business was actually really, really, really cool uh, in any time. I guess you can call it recession proof, if so to speak, because we're considered a to-go establishment. So we don't have people inside congregating, which allow people to come order, take their food and go, take their food and go. We are established here in the Downers Grove area in the state of Illinois. But because of all the shutdowns that didn't happen, we're able to go from city to city to city to city to city um, where they invited us, of course. You have to be invited. And we're able to serve to the private area of neighborhoods. We call them neighborhood pop-ups. That's a cool little transition that we did. And that made me believe, and I believe, that the food truck business is just going to keep exploding and going up in the next coming years. But something that stopped me from buying a new trailer was the amount of money that you needed to buy a new trailer or a new food truck. I had a bunch of quotes, a bunch of estimates, and it was way beyond my budget. So being the handyman that I am, and I've learned from being an electrician for a lot of years since, um, since high school, being uh, somebody that likes to see things fit, uh, broken and then fix them and then make them work. That's kind of like my, uh, my little hobby, so to speak. So I was like, you know what? Why not just go and look at other food trailers, take pictures of what they're doing, copy that style, and then build my own based on all my construction experience. So that's what I did, and that's what the videos have been about, is how to go step by step by step and being able to build a food truck from an empty cargo trailer. And maybe in the next videos that we come up, we're going to come up with like a how to build your food truck. 2.0 so that might be something that we answer your questions that you guys do send some awesome questions some awesome comments some awesome suggestions on how we can improve the build because uh, some of you are more experts in construction than i am especially like in maybe the plumbing and the gas so i do look at every comment and every suggestion and hopefully in the next videos if we do another project i can uh, make some more detailed videos for you help you guys out and being able to provide the video series, How to Build Your Food Truck 2.0. We'll see if that comes into fruition for next time. But with that, let's talk about the commissary. So I looked up the word commissary because nothing is better than just looking it up on a dictionary. And it means 
a store for equipment and provisions, food supplies, a lunchroom, especially in a motion picture studio. That's what it says. A supermarket for military personnel. But mostly what it means is a store for equipment and provisions. Because you got to think of it like this. You got to think of it as a health inspector. A health inspector uh, does not consider you a full commercial kitchen. Because a commissary, that's what it is. It's a brick and mortar commercial kitchen. What a brick and mortar commercial kitchen means is that they have electricity, uh, AC, heat, gas running to that establishment 24-7 unless there's a power outage or a gas leak or something, then obviously they don't have that utility. But 24 seven, they have their refrigerators running, they have their heating and air conditioning running, they have their gas running, everything that makes them a commercial kitchen. A food truck is not considered a commercial kitchen that I know of. So that's why a health department or a health inspector requires you to have a commissary because you're on the, you're on the field you, you have to, all your food that you don't serve, right? Your leftovers, quotations, right? Not leftovers, but reusable, reusable material. You need to store it somewhere. And in the eyes of a health inspector, you can't store it in your food truck because you don't have power to it all the time. So that's why they require you to come, bring your food back to the commissary, store it. And then the next day you prep it, you put in your food truck, your food trailer, and you go out on the field and you do it. That's the concept of a commissary on how I understand it. And I know certain states actually require you to leave your food truck at the commissary. Out here in Illinois, they don't require that. They do not require us to leave our food truck and food trailer at our commissary. They do require a commissary, but not for us to leave it there. So that's really cool because I know other states... You have to leave it there and they have all these commissary parks and whatever. Uh, but for us, we don't have that. Um, and a commissary, like I said, it's a commercial kitchen and you do have to go. How can I, how can I say, because when I went to go find a commercial kitchen, I Googled commissaries in DuPage County and you got a couple here and there and I went to go visit them. They don't really have a price that they give you like online. You have to go talk to them and see what they do. And I never really got a price because they never got back to me. Um, you do have like the VFW you can go to. Uh, I, I heard today of like daycares that you can use as a commercial kitchen. Uh, what else is there? I used a local mom and pop local Mexican restaurant. That's what I used. And I used it because I did some electrical work for them. A few years back, I changed out a couple of GFIs for them that they weren't working. GFI is like those little uh, outlets that you see in your bathroom that have the red button and the black button where it says reset and test. I changed some of those out for them. And I was like, you know what? What if I go back and I ask them if I can use their kitchen? So I went and I asked them, can I use your guys' kitchen as a commissary? Because the health department requires it. And they give you, this is a sheet, for example, that we have. It's a letter of agreement to use commissary and pretty much what it says is, please accept this letter as permission for the following operator, then your food truck name goes there, to use my business as a commissary for their mobile vending business, which includes food storage, supply storage, maintenance of car, truck, or trailer, provision of clean water and disposable disposal of wastewater. So that's another thing that it does. The two things, obviously I said food storage, supply storage, same thing maintenance so if you need to clean or deep clean your truck or trailer that's where you would do it uh, and the other one is when you're washing your dishes inside you're going to have dirty water so that dirty water you need to dump it somewhere and that dumping of the water happens at the commissary and then you fill it with clean water as well so that's the the aspect of a commissary is those four things read it from you here one more time food storage supply storage, maintenance of car, truck, or trailer, provision of clean water and disposal of wastewater, and then every restaurant or every commercial kitchen gets a inspection report. Just like you're gonna get with your food truck, they get one as well. There's a, there's a little bit more detailed as far as I looked at it. And then you have to submit it with this, and then the restaurant owner also has to sign off on it, and you have to do this pretty much every year to renew your license. 
to make sure that they are still in agreement that you are their commissary. The, the way that I got it for free is you have to think outside the box a little bit because when you're starting a new business, every dollar is accounted for, especially in my aspect, I was like, man, how can I not spend money to start my business? Which is one of the reasons why I started the food truck and I built it myself was because I didn't have forty, fifty thousand dollars to just shell out and buy a new food truck or food trailer. <clears throat> so I asked the owner, I'm like, what if we trade service for service? Because I asked him, how much would you charge me to use your kitchen? And then he's like, let me get back to you because I have no idea. Nobody's ever asked me that question. So then the next day he's like, you know what? I have no idea what to charge you. I honestly don't. You know, I could charge you, I don't know, 100 bucks, 200 bucks, 300 bucks. I don't know. So I'm like, why not let's trade service for service? He's like, what do you mean? I'm like, what if I help you like in your electrical, like if something breaks or you need something in your restaurant, I'll fix it for you free of charge. And you let me use your kitchen free of charge. He's like, I like that idea. I really do because every now and then things break. So he's used me for a couple of things in his restaurant, adding a microwave, uh, circuits, changing out some lights, uh, a bunch of little small things here and there. And we've been able to pay back each other uh, back and forth. So the point of this video is when you're looking for a commissary, one, I can't help you find a commissary because I don't know your area. So Google commissary in whatever county you're in and maybe you can go out there. Some of them charge per the hour, some of them charge per month, some of them charge per time that you come in. It all depends. I really don't have a price on what a commissary cost because I don't pay for one. Because I exchange my services that I know, which is electrical services, for exchange of their kitchen use, if that makes sense. So if you have a really cool skill that you can offer them, maybe that's something you can do. Service for service, service for service, that'd be a cool option to think outside the box and not have to spend any money and being able to use their kitchen as a commissary to meet the health department requirement. So that is an option for you. If you're looking for a commissary, uh, that's a way to find it for free. Another one is at VFW, daycares. Uh, what other ones are there? Churches, I think churches also, if they have a commercial kitchen, you can use them if you have a good relationship with them. So there's a lot of ways that they call it, right? A couple of ways to skin the cat. Um, but that's the one that I use here for my food truck, Rolling Burritos Food Truck. And on the new food truck build, whoever is the new owner of that, because I'm going to sell it. And I do have a potential buyer. I haven't even listed it and somebody already wants to buy it. They haven't sent the check in, but once they do, it'll be off the market. And I never even put it on the market. So we'll see if that actually comes through. Um, other than that, we'll see what happens if he doesn't purchase it. It'll be on the market here pretty soon. But that food truck series is almost done with. We have a couple things to finish up here and there. So the, the food truck videos will still be coming out because I still have to tie up a couple loose ends. The next couple of videos are going to be about the fire suppression system and then the cooking equipment. So stay in tune for that. Frank Voltiers with Rolling Burritos Food Truck. Hopefully that answers your questions on the commissary. If you have any other questions with the commissary, please let me know and I'll try to answer them as best as I can. So thank you very much.